Hi everyone. Today we'll be going over how to switch between different pretreats and adjusting the nozzle angles on your Mr. T2 pretreatment machine. The T2 comes with four bottles, three of which you can use for different types of pretreatment that you may use, and one for distilled water, which is used to flush out the lines to prevent clogage. First, we'll start with priming the line for pretreat A. Turn the valve clockwise to open the line. You should never have more than one line open at a time. Next, open the lid of the T2 and place the water bottle at the right nozzle, making sure to completely cover the entire nozzle to make sure no pretreat escapes while priming the line. Press and hold the clean button until you hear the pump start up. Wait until you hear a consistent spray and then press clean again to stop the spray. Now move the bottle over to the left nozzle and press and hold clean again until the T2 starts to spray out of the second nozzle. Same thing here, wait to hear a consistent spray and then press clean again to stop. Now you've completed priming the line for pretreat A. Remember this process since you will follow this exact process repeatedly to both prime and purge the lines. Now we're going to switch over from using pretreat A to pretreat B. There are two methods to doing this, an economic method and a convenience method. First, the economic method. Open the bottle for pretreat A and pull the line out. Carefully rest the filter on the lip of the bottle so that the pump will no longer be able to pull any more pretreat from the bottle. Now, follow the same process that you did to initially prime the line for pretreat A. But this time, instead of listening for a consistent spray, you will be listening for the spray to stop. Other than that, the process is exactly the same. Once complete, you have emptied the line, and the pretreat that you caught during the process can be poured back into the pretreat A bottle to reduce waste. Now turn the pretreat A valve to the off position by turning it counterclockwise, and then open the pretreat B valve by turning it clockwise. Follow the priming method again until all lines are fully primed. Now you're ready to start using pretreat B. The convenience method is to immediately turn off the valve for pretreat A, open the valve for the distilled water, and follow the priming method until the lines are clear. Then, turn off the distilled water valve and open the valve for pretreat B, and follow the priming method again. You will not be able to use any pretreat that you catch since it will be mixed with water, but you won't have to open any bottles up, increasing the chance of dripping pretreat around your work area. Now, some pretreats are very similar so you won't run into any issues, but some pretreats have different viscosity levels, which causes the spray pattern to slightly change. This is where the adjustable nozzles come in handy. As you can see here, there are two nozzles, and two circular knobs that you can use to unlock and lock the position of the nozzles. Also take note of the notches that are marked here. These will allow you to accurately adjust the nozzles and mirror both sides correctly. First. Take a shirt, preferably of a color that shows markings when wet, such as a heather gray shirt, and spray the shirt using the T2. Take a look at the spray pattern. You can see that the center is very saturated while the outer edges are more dry. This means that you will need to adjust the nozzles in a more outward angle. To do this, turn the circular knob counterclockwise to loosen the nozzle. Then, using the notches, Carefully angle the nozzle slightly more outward and then immediately lock the nozzle in place by turning the knob clockwise. Repeat for the other side and make sure to use the notches to mirror the other side so that your spray is evenly adjusted. Once complete, spray again. As you can see, now the spray is more evenly spread across the entire garment. If you have the opposite issue, where the outer edges are more wet and the center area is being missed, then do the opposite of what you just did with the nozzles. So instead of angling them more outward, angle them more inward. Alright, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.